Hi, Amy with AJ's Vintage Designs and Fashion Toppings here. Want to learn how to make all these paint pour Christmas ornaments? It's easy and I'm going to show you how. Just keep on watching. So I went online and I got this solution from Mixed Media Girl on YouTube. It's, I took styrofoam, put a popsicle stick in it. I had to put two popsicle sticks in it because these are kind of big. But I took a styrofoam. I didn't take the paper off of it. Got these at the dollar store and stuck a popsicle stick in it. That way my paint pour is just gonna run off and my little spout here isn't gonna be rusting and sitting in all my paint pour. So that is one tip. Get some styrofoam, leave the plastic on it, use some popsicle sticks, poke it right in, and that'll be a holder. Okay, and I prepped these. If you can see, this is what they look like. I get them from the dollar store. You can buy them in large, bundles at like Walmart and Hobby Lobby, those kind of things. These are plastic. So with plastic, you, if you want your bulbs to last, you know, we throw them in a box, they get stored and they're going to rub against each other. So we want the paint to last. So I did, as you can tell, I put a thin coat of slick stick on these first. And I did this yesterday. I put the slick stick on yesterday. It's nice and dry. It's not going to get reactivated, but there we go. Just one little coat of slick stick. And the nice thing is, is I just painted it right on here. I held onto the ball so it didn't spin. And I was able to just paint it, rotate it as I was painting, and boom, it was done. So this little thing really helps. And I'm gonna aim this down. But first thing I wanna talk about is I'm gonna be doing Floetrol. And that Floetrol, if you're wondering what it is, this is how I do my paint pours. I use Flood Floetrol, I know it's backwards for you. But this you can get at um, Home Depot, any of the hardware stores. This right here is like, 17 bucks, it's not expensive at all. But this is an extender, a paint extender. It's in the paint section. But it's called Flood Floetrol, and this is the latex based. I use this. Now, I'm also gonna do uh, one of them using the Gator Hide and one using Dixie Bell Gloss. I'm going to do three different ways to do a pour, because I got four balls here. So let's get started. Okay, we're gonna do these balls, and we're gonna do a couple different ways. Okay, so the first one I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the Floetrol because it's my favorite. Floetrol, what it does is, um, it's an extender, but it also thins out the paint and allows it to move and flow. It makes it very slippery. And I like to do 50% Floetrol, 50% um, paint. So I'm just gonna pour a little bit of Floetrol in each one of these cups. And I'm gonna have plenty left over to do more projects after this. Okay, and I'm gonna mix another one using uh, Dixie Bell Gloss. It'll be the same as Gator Hide. Okay, so I'm actually going to make one of them a lot more because I'm gonna, I'm going to use the, uh, the white, a lot more of the white than anything. So in this first one, I want a lot of white because white is gonna be like my base color. Okay, so I'm gonna put a lot of, a lot of white in here. You don't have to have the exact measurements. You do, uh, because I, I never measure mine. Some people put them on a scale, some people are exact. I'm just coloring my Floetrol. Okay, so that is the cotton. Get that stirred up right there. Okay, and then the next one I'm going to do, I'm gonna do our metallics. So I'm going to do uh, Pacific. Moonshine, uh, Moonshine Metallics in Pacific. And I'm gonna make a mess here because I don't have it in my FIFO bottle. I'm gonna pour about 50% in there. Okay. I'll clean my jars up afterwards. And then I think I want to do some gold. So I'm just gonna do some gold digger. And I think in my last one, I think I'm gonna put steel magnolias in it. Okay, so this is gonna be the gold digger. Pour about 50% in there. Like I said, you don't have to be exact. Some people like to have it exact. I, I personally, it doesn't bother me. So now let's go ahead and stir up the blue. And this is gonna be gorgeous. Look at that. See, it doesn't really affect the sheen of the metallics very much at all. They're still vibrant. Okay, let's stir up the gold. 
Now these, and these are so fun. If you pre-mix these up for the kids and let them have fun pouring them on top, I have, as you can see, wax paper underneath just to protect my table. And I'm gonna do one more color. I'm gonna do steel magnolia. Okay, steel magnolia is a gorgeous color. And I should have stirred this one up a little bit. The same technique can be done on anything, any home decor. I just happen to be doing it on my ornaments. Especially if you're a shop owner or if you're making gifts, sometimes you like to do it well in advance. Because there we go. So I've got my colors. Now there's different ways that you can do the pour. The first one, I'm gonna do what's called a dirty pour. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour into a separate cup. Whatever color you pour in first is actually gonna be kind of like the last color that comes on top. So it's gonna be a, a lot of your dominant color is gonna be the color you pour in first. And I am going to put in the white first. I'm pour in some white. And then I'm gonna do some blue. And I want you to see, I'm gonna pour it down the edge. It's gonna make a little circle. Okay, so you can see that little circle. Now I'm gonna pour in the gold right on top of it, down the edge. They stay a little bit separate, because you can see that. See how they're staying separate? And then my last one is gonna be the steel magnolia. So see how those pretty those colors are gonna be? Now if I want to, I can go back and just put a tad bit of white if I want. You'll see. These colors are all gonna to blend together as I pour them. Okay, so I'm going to scoot these out of the way so you guys can see. I'm gonna do it on this first one right here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, in a circular motion, I am going to dump this right on top. And I, I wanna make sure that you guys are able to see. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna start swirling across the top and letting it run down my bulb. And I wanna make sure that when it's running down, that I'm gonna get full coverage. And you can see those colors are coming together. I'm pouring slowly, just letting it kinda of like frost my bulb. See all those colors are coming in there? And the more I spin it around, the more cool designs it's going to make. Okay. See how that looks? And as we sit there and watch this, this is gonna continue to run and those colors are going to go together. Now, if you wanna have like the big cells, you can add like a drop of your Minwax um, wood conditioner, a couple drops in there, or you can add a couple drops of your uh, any type of silicone oil if you want to have the big cells and then heat it with your heat gun. I really like this flowing look. Okay, and this is a great way to use up some of your extra paint. Okay, so next one, so I'm gonna set this to the side. Okay, set that to the side. Next one, I am going to do what's called just a regular pour, which means I'm not gonna pre-mix my colors in a cup. I'm just gonna pour the colors one at a time, which is kind of what the kids would probably have fun doing. I'm gonna start with my white, and I'm gonna let the white run all the way down the ball, get some on there, and then I'm gonna sort of drizzle different colors randomly to get like a little pattern. I can do my circles, I can do little swirls, I can do whatever I want. So I can do the blue, and I come back over the top, and maybe I'll do some of the gold, and just let that kind of run. The kids can have fun, and every bulb is gonna look different. So this is just pouring random colors on. Okay, and you can take your blow dryer, and you can kind of blow on it to kind of push those colors to keep going. The top. And
and we can just have those colors run together and you can get a different look by keeping keep adding different colors if you don't do enough of the uh, of the paint on it just know that you're gonna have those cool drips see those little drip marks you're gonna have those cool drips when we flip it up the other way trying to show some of the gold through here so see all those cool drips and I think I want to just do some drizzling of some blue. See how much fun the kids can have doing these. Now it is messy. I would, I would do this in a lined card, cardboard box for the kids just to make sure your floors don't get the brunt of it. I gotta make sure my hair doesn't fall on it. So I'm just gonna let that one run and we'll have all the different colors. The clean pour is kind of just more abstract. It's not, I mean, this is, I love this. And I'm getting cells without even having to do anything. Okay, now let's do these two. I'm gonna set these two aside. And I'm gonna make a, a couple using um, Dixie Belle gloss instead of the Floetrol. Because if you don't wanna go out and buy Floetrol, I'm gonna use Dixie Belle gloss as my medium. You can use Gator Hide, you can use any one of the top coats. I'm just gonna use gloss and I'm going to pour it in here. Same thing, pour a little bit in there. This is just, this is just to thin out our paint, make our paint thinner. I need to do one more for the white. Okay. But this is, I mean, if you have leftover paint and not enough to do a project, then I mean, what kid is not gonna have fun or what adult? I mean, I love doing these. I make my jewelry out of these and everything. Okay, so on this one, <clears throat> I'm just gonna do one in white, one in gold, and one in blue. So one in cotton, put my cotton in there, just about 50-50. Next, I'm gonna put in my, my messy Pacific, because it's all over the jar. Okay, let's do the Pacific. What the, what the clear coat's doing is just thinning it out so it will be able to flow and lay smoothly. If you did just chalk paint by itself, um, it's gonna be really thick and you take the chance that it's going to crack if you just did the paint all by itself. You wanna thin it out and I'm thinning it out with the gloss clear coat. Now let's do gold as my third color. And this is with Dixie Belle gloss. This is gonna be a lot thinner than the Floetrol. Okay, so let's stir up the white. Okay, the more I stick, stir it, the thicker it's getting. So I want it to be, and it's, it's still watery. Look at, it's still watery. So we're gonna do this one, and I'm gonna do a dirty pour because that's my favorite. We get a brand new cup. And the dirty pour, like I said, is where you, you know, you just mix in the colors. If, the, if I can still keep the colors separate. Putting in some blue. Okay, so I've got the three colors poured in. I'm gonna move this out of the way. The table's not quite big enough. Okay, so now this is, like I said, this is gonna be a lot runnier, but let's see how, how it works. So I'm gonna drizzle it around. Oh, that's gonna be pretty. Okay, so that is mixed Dixie Bell Metallics, their cotton, and Dixie Bell Gloss. Look at how, oops, I just touched it. That's okay, it'll melt itself. Look at how cool that one looks. And I'll bring, it, I'll bring you as a close-up here in just a second. But like I said, I have plastic underneath this and I have a tray. Let me just go ahead and do a regular pour on this last one. And then I'm going to drizzle the gold way outside on the outside and the blue 
it's a great way to use your paints for the holidays. Not using as much blue, and so we're gonna let, go ahead and see how each one, same colors, each one has a completely different look. I love, these are so much fun to do. Actually, I want a little bit of white going down this a little bit more. Okay, so these are gonna take, it'll take until tomorrow before these are dry. So I'm not gonna be able to touch this whole area until tomorrow because um, the paint does take about 24 hours to dry. And then I'll go over them probably with a coat of Dixie Belle gloss. Okay, so here is the different options. See, that is the flow trawl, the first one I did where I poured them all into one cup. See, you can see some cells on there and I did not add any oil to create that. That has happened on its own. And then here's the same exact colors, but pouring them one color at a time and blowing on it. So there is the um, gloss mixed with Dixie Belle paints. And this one is the gloss mixed with Dixie Belle paints. So see how, see how that movement? Every ball looks completely different. This is flo uh, Flood Floetrol, okay? Uh, you can take a snapshot if you want to. This is what you get at the hardware store in the paint department. It's latex based. But like I said, I also, you don't have to use that. This was 50% paint roughly uh, and 50% Dixie Belle paint and 50% gloss. These two. These two are 50% Floetrol and Dixie Belle paint. So you get the same look. That, you know, point, the point is, is you can use, uh, these will be considered sealed because it has the gloss in it. But if you want to make these glossier, wait 24 hours and then you can put your gloss coat on it. I have a garbage bag, a plastic bag, but I'm on top of a little plastic lid so that all of this is gonna stay in one spot. So I recommend doing this in like a craft room or out in your garage um, and then let this sit overnight. It's gonna take a good 24 hours to dry. When I do a paint pour, see the plastic? See all that paint that is all over the plastic? I let that dry too. And then since I'm on wax paper, it peels right up. And this is what I get. This is a skin left over from a paint pour and it's rubbery. I make jewelry out of it. I have a YouTube video showing how to make the skins and how to make jewelry out of this. Um, I save all my skins for my paint pours. I'll be saving these skins as well. And then I make jewelry out of them. Uh, and then I've also decoupaged with this. I decoupaged this on a mannequin head, some of this paint pour. I decoupaged it with Dixie Belle's um, clear coat and gloss. I put clear, uh, clear coat of gloss on my mannequin head. I laid this down and then I clear coated it again with gloss. And it's great because it stretches just a little bit and it really forms around corners. See how rubbery it is? That is a, uh, that, this paint pour was done with the 50% Floetrol which I showed you, and 50% Dixie Belle paint. Okay, well, there you have it. A fun little tutorial. You get to make so many different color combinations. This project is a lot of fun. Now you can go and seal these with any clear coat gloss sealer or spray sealer, whatever you'd like, and you can give them the sheen that you want. But there's so many options, so many different ways to dress these up. I have Would You Bend on this one. I hot glued some little glitter balls on this one, ribbons and colors and different options. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you click down below and like and subscribe to this channel. Um, I do a lot of videos that are kind of all over the place. I do crafting, painting, and uh, every so often you get a sewing video in there. There's over 400 videos that you can binge watch on this channel. So make sure you subscribe. Okay, well, until next time, I hope you have a great day.